Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another edition of the Statics Radio. And with us, we have not just one, but two of our Lost in the Twilight Zone members, PJ and Zach. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Oh, we're recording? Yeah. Yeah. No, what up? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah, Keep we're it. definitely. We'll do it live. Let's go. Yes. Let's do it. All right. Oh, yeah. uh, that's definitely going to be the beginning. Uh, hello, yeah. boys and girls. As you can tell, uh, <laughs> I'm back from the bathroom. I've been in there for about four weeks. Um, I'm, I'm alive. I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, the one person, the one person in the audience that was uh, concerned. Uh, I'm, I'm here. Woo! Oh man, Parker, uh, are you all right, buddy? You got to pump your legs a bit to get the the blood flowing again. Yeah, yeah. The so last right. time I'm letting you get some Taco Bell. Jeez. Yeah, sorry. Or too, um, mu- or too much Popeyes. Something yeah, like that. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Well, Popeyes chicken sandwich is out, and if you're wondering why, it's because I ate too many of them. Um, Zach, yeah, Zach's really. here. Zach's here. Yeah. Yay, back. Yeah, Zach was fine. here. He answered. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was hey. ready. Back we're from all, the uh, back from the all here. On five episodes later. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're all here finally. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. This is seriously the uh, best intro you'll ever hear in any podcast ever. Um, we're all alive. All four of us is here for what is what episode is this again? 15. 15. And 15. hi, I'm Alejandro. Good. Didn't get introduced. I'm here. Oh, hey, hey Alejandro. Hey. How's it going? Long time to see you. It's yeah, so because episode, you never left. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, episode X XV 15, baby. Another yeah. time to use the, uh, you know, use the X. Um, or if you want to be like unnecessarily complicated, you could do XVX. <laughs> so, yeah, it wouldn't um, that be like uh, 50 15 or 40. If, oh, okay, 15. That's 15. Yeah, 10 sure. and then the V and then the X and V. Are, technically, that'd be negative five. Wait, would that be negative five? Probably. I did not come here I don't to know learn math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, Zach's already, that's all of math. Zach's already this is why math. Nero burned Rome to the brew ground. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is why this is why Rome doesn't exist, is because they used Roman numerals. They were bad math. Um, yeah, they had one bad math day. So yeah, I'm I'm back. Zach's back. Alejandro's here. Paul is still here. Thank you, Paul, yeah. so much for uh, taking the reins the last couple of weeks. You've My been pleasure. a giant blessing to this podcast and the community. Quite literally, I might add. Yep. Quite literally, um, mm-hmm. a blessing. I'm tall, by the way, to anybody listening. Yeah. <laughs> Just to explain that. Yeah. Uh, so, and, uh, Parker, the why don't you... Uh, PJ... But yes. Uh, yes, excuse me, PJ. Why don't you tell That's us fine. why we are all uh, here? What is the Avengers level threat that we've all been summoned for? Yeah, so uh, Static's Radio is getting canceled. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it is, but it is going on hiatus uh, after next episode, next week's episode, episode 16. Correct. Um, because, like it we sucks. said earlier, <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 I'm hey. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> See, I leave, I leave for what? Three, four weeks, a month, and the whole thing falls apart? Anyways, the uh, I'm kidding. It was falling apart since the start. But the point whoo, the point of this, that bash at myself there. Um, the, the, point, the point of us announcing this is that, uh, you know, on Statics Radio, since the start, we may not have clearly stated that we wanted to talk more of behind the scenes, what's going on in our lives, Statics, uh, specific things on this podcast. Uh, but that was one of our ideas for this podcast, and we kind of want to hold that for a while. But because we talk about static things, I'm going to be open with you here, uh, people in the audience, people listening, uh, not myself or Alejandro, Paul, and Zach that will go re-listen to this at the end. But anybody who's not our four ears, first off, thank you so much for being around. There's more than four ears. I'm not good at math, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about negative five in Roman numerals. You can't That'll be point. Here. That'll uh, be Continue. Years. Yeah, all right. <laughs> the, um, thank you, everybody, who's not a part of us, specifically, who's been listening and who's listening to this episode. We appreciate you greatly. Uh, we're not leaving. We're not really going anywhere. 
we just decided to be open and upfront with you guys that we're refocusing something mm -hmm. uh, and a little shifting around a little bit, looking at what has worked the last couple months, what hasn't worked the last couple months, and where we can go from here. Well, everybody who does listen, you know that we have a website. We have statxmedia.com. Shout out to you, Alejandro. Thank you yeah. for doing that um, and running that phenomenally well. Um, keep your eyes peeled. We're going to have more stuff coming to there more frequently, more reviews for video games, movies, TV shows, etc. cetera. Uh, maybe even making the website look a little better. Who knows? We're going to focus a little bit more on the website and a review content side for uh, pop culture stuff. Like I said, all media, since we are called Statics Media, we may as well do, you know, some media things mm -hmm. like making some, uh, making some more reviews. Uh, our reviews have been pretty much all over the place. Uh, we're trying to hone, hone in a little bit more on that side since we have a lot of people who are passionate about that right now and they tend to be do, they tend to do really well. Uh, hence Jordan's review on uh, uh, Zelda was phenomenally written and really well read and Amen. received. Um, here, here. Yeah, so I aye, mean, aye. <laughs> shout out to you, uh, Tiki Tucky, Tiki Tucky, Oi, 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 Jordan. Love you, man. Uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, anyway, anyways, so with that being said, we're not just going to have written reviews. Uh, as some of you guys may remember, the Sekiro review that we had a long time ago. Uh, thank you, Zach, for up. I think you uploaded that and you made the thumbnail for that. Yeah, that's right. He did. He did. Yeah. Th thank you. First off, love the thumbnail. We're going to you for more. Uh, whenever we do more, if you can't tell what I'm getting at, because I'm my train of thought is leaving the station uh, that I am <laughs> stranded at. Uh, There's that train of thought again. Yep. Yeah, bye bye. Anyways, uh, yeah. So we are doing more of those. We are doing more video content for our YouTube channel. That is not just this. And so we want my focus and what I want to do and what I honestly, just being honest, what I wanted to do was to be able to focus on my video editing and putting together scripting and such for these video reviews. Since our reviews are doing well, we may as well push them a little harder and, you know, make more content. That's not just this podcast. Um, and so for now we're putting this podcast on hiatus. It's not, disappearing for good it will be back how we are focusing on what we realize works we're basically putting it on uh carve night and sending it to java the hot yeah not to java the hot we're just putting it in the closet we'll pull it out later <laughs> the uh but ultimately season one concludes next episode season two will happen it will not be like all those animes that never get season two uh paul oh, knows my feeling hard time <laughs> a hard time, hard time. Uh, this isn't a one and done. This will be back. Um, just when we will let you know. We will let you know when this will happen. It's definitely going to be something that we keep on the burner. We don't just set it aside, never look at it. Like it exists. We understand it exists and it will be back. And again, thank you for everyone who's listened so far to season one. You guys rock because trust me down the line when we have, you know, hundreds of people listening, like you guys are going to be the ones that were here from the beginning. And we really appreciate you guys. Um, anyways, about the last thing about that, I, I do want to apologize before I announce one more thing. Um, I want to apologize for the confusion for anybody of what StatX is, what StatX Media is, because uh, trust me, we were just as confused as you were yep. <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, a lot of people committing, leaving, um, jumping in and out, and that, that's fine. It's not their fault. It's kind of our fault for putting too much weight on other people um and not necessarily stepping up ourselves sometimes uh, shout out to myself um i'll even call myself out in that one um and so we we want to focus on things that our team that we know is here for good uh are passionate about and right now paul alejandro and myself and zach are all really passionate about either video games tv or movies currently and alejandro loves writing reviews so he's going to be heading that up like he was previously. I'll be, I love making videos. So we're going to make videos for the reviews. Um, we're crossing more together now. Yeah, we're, we're, cross, we're crossing more together and starting mm -hmm. to focus on things that all of us really, truly enjoy rather than separating. Uh, Behind, the Act, Behind the X will be back at some point. 
uh, that is on that is on hold right now. All the other stuff we've done previously is kind of on hold um, while we refocus and really push content that we can be not just questioning about and testing the waters, but like actually proud of. And we can push out to you guys. And so you guys can truly enjoy good quality content that you guys deserve. Uh, last but not least, I'm sorry for all the confusion. Uh, I know it's confusing. I'm trying to be as straightforward as I possibly can be and just let you guys see behind the scenes. Uh, we had a lot of issues we're going through, uh, myself personally with the group or whatever. And I, I'd like to, I like to believe we're pretty much past that for now. Right. Oh Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we needed that talk that no one will yep. hear, but we had it. Yeah. And so, uh, we're going to refocus, um, and we're going to really push hard on reviews and our website and social media. So, and this YouTube channel. So please stay tuned. And again, thank you everybody who's listened so far. Um, but for everybody who just likes to tune in every once in a while, listen to a, some of our raspy, bad, awful, minus Paul voices. Uh, and Except re- mechanical for my case. Yeah, make it C-3PO over there for uh, today. His uh, recording's a little weird, but it sounds fine so far, this, this podcast. Oh, yeah. I have um, been a statue so far to avoid moving my wire in any way to cause trouble. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, and I bet you the people at home appreciate it too. And you're not surprisingly hiccuping anymore. I don't know how you got rid of that so fast, but good for you. He stopped playing a game he was playing, apparently. Movie so. magic. <laughs> so for everybody who is tired of our voices but really likes Paul and tunes in just for Paul, you're in luck. People who like Alejandro and I and Zach's voice, why? But anyways, thank you. And you're also in luck. <laughs> um, you'll still not, listen to one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll listen. Uh, we'll all be there um, yeah, here, here and there. And there. Yeah. yeah. If you can't, if you can't tell where I'm getting at, yes. <laughs> Sadex Radio is going on a hiatus, but there is a new new kid on the block. There is a oh, new yeah. kid on the block. Yes, this is the. Uh, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is a third podcast we have done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> will this? What are we gonna become a podcast station? Absolutely not. That will honestly, honestly, this will probably be an inside joke forever. Is that we're oh, yeah. Statics Podcast, not Statics Media, because mm-hmm. uh, Statics Podcasts, because all we do is podcasts and reviews right now. Mm-hmm. But trust me, it's worth it. We're trying to work this out. We're trying to test the waters, all this podcasting stuff, so we can really address some issues that we have and also push, like I said earlier, the best quality content to you guys. So people who are around since the very beginning with Pop Culture Podcasts, or the one that shall not be named. Um, that was on Spotify. It was on SoundCloud. All this other stuff. Ours, Statics Radio, wasn't. Is, <laughs> wasn't. But we're bringing that back. This new podcast will be on all platforms. It will be on YouTube. We will have highlights. Here, yeah, yay, pretty much. <laughs> yay. Mm-hmm. Round of applause. Yay. We are... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, for the one person in the back. Thank you so much for uh, for Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for yeah, cheering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bethesda press conference, you guys. Come on. You guys can step it up. You're employees. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, anyways, so Paul, uh, the voice that everybody likes. Hey, the, that's me. And he is. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. He's hosting his own podcast that we are going to be producing at Statics Radio, tying in specifically to one thing that we consistently talk about video, video games, games. Video games. Course, yeah so paul pass it yeah. off to you talk about your new show just real quick before he says anything um paul I've been Clark, intercepted. paul um <laughs> continue yeah what is the one thing that all three consoles controllers have in common that my good sir is plastic Yep. And, joystick. <laughs> and a specific feature on each of them, which is an X button. Yeah. yeah. Which, which is <laughs> what the yeah. title is. The X the button. X button. Right? The drum yes. roll, yes. Brr, boom. Brr, yeah, boom, X button. Um, no, we did not think about this uh, when we made Statix the name uh, for, oh. <laughs> for, the, for the group. Uh, did it happen to just fall in our lap to create a podcast name that just happens to tie in with our... Uh, group name 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going and to Zach. go ahead and give, yes, full credit to our own Zach for coming up with both the name and the soon to be logo that y'all will be seeing Zach uh, soon after that. this comes out. So Zach, uh, you can, I allow you to say as many words as you wish, which will be maybe a two sentences worth. If that, <laughs> um, just thank you, buddy, for coming up with all that. Yeah. You can't see it right now, but I'm bowing repeatedly. All right, that's uh, enough, Zach. All right, moving on to Paul. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Um, (laughs) Anyway, yes. um, So the X button is going to be very similar uh, so far to what Statics Radio has been under me and Alejandro. Uh, It is going to be a little bit more of the news, mostly video games. Mm -hmm. Uh, We will dabble slightly in other terms of fiction, whether writing talks, pop culture, news, things going on. I would love to have a couple of guest stars that I have in the pipes already, Mm -hmm. Um, but y'all will hear more about that in the future. Uh, Just more of the celebration of everything that we all love and one of the big reasons why we're all here. Yeah, let us us specify though, this is technically a video game podcast. That will be like Yes. What, 80, you said 80% yeah. of what we talk about. Mm-hmm. Correct. The majority of episodes will be specifically on video games with like random one offs or shoots here and there about yeah. other things, correct? Like, for example, if right. there's something big in entertainment, let's say uh, uh, Star Wars happening, that other 20% could be briefly dedicated to that. But oh, then, yeah, ev- I believe a but then everything. Exactly. So, but everything else in that 80%, like it's everything strictly related to games, whether it's on Xbox or PlayStation, on Switch, maybe even PC. The PC has an X button also there. Just saying. Hey, it does. (laughs) Does the Stadia have one? Yes, they do. It does? Really? Oh, shoot. Man, I was really hoping somebody would say no, and I'd be like, and that's why we're not talking about it. But, <laughs> hey, I guess I got to mention that at some point, Everything too. with an X button. Mm-hmm. I guess we we're uh, going over. Exactly. So, and that way, it'll help us recenter and refocus, like you were saying, so like making it this, real clear. Is this going to be video game news, or is this going to be, like, uh, brand new content? Like, what? Like for instance, Star Wars is a big thing right now. Or mm-hmm. Maybe you can have an episode on... Uh, your pitch for the your best Star Wars video game, or like oh, something like that. <laughs> like uh, you, you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it, is this just gonna be news, or is this also going to be or just like personal interest stuff? Like what? How's this? How's this gonna work? Like new? Well, content? I think it is. Um, thank you I've, for asking the question. I would love to specify uh, for short. Uh, Alejandro, you're about to mm-hmm. say something. Um, I think you're gonna say it, but so go ahead. Oh, am I cutting out? No, you're fine. No, no, you're fine. Oh, I was okay. saying that. Just, just say it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So the umbrella, for the most part, will be video games. We'll talk about everything, from if if we want to talk about the process, we want to talk about the news that's going on in it. We want to talk about experiences recently with something we've been playing, mm-hmm. or hey, maybe we were thinking about something that happened way long ago. And we wanted to reminisce about it, or maybe talk about something that worked, something that didn't mm-hmm. work. Uh, maybe bring on somebody that has worked on something. Maybe somebody that has written for something, um, but. Within, say, that umbrella, I would love to say that we'll talk about just about anything related to video games in some way, shape, or form. Uh, Even if it's somebody that has done something else outside of video games, maybe worked on it in the past, or loves playing video games themselves, maybe. Um, I will also say, outside of that umbrella, there might be a couple little tiny umbrellas outside of that realm that might catch on a couple of different things here and there that... Alejandro and I might have a passion for that we'd love to maybe take a small segment on or maybe one off episode just to maybe discuss talk about more in detail just something that we both love because that's just what we enjoy here is we love Mm -hmm. to make great ideas soar and some of those things um, might be slightly outside of video games so we don't want to shackle ourselves entirely but like I mentioned to PJ it's going to be 80% all video games and everything about them. Does yeah. that answer the question? Yeah. No, Perfect. That's great. Someone's phone just went off and my guess is it was probably me sending a uh, yep. personal Instagram <laughs> message to somebody. Exactly. That's my test to see if you guys have your uh, 
Phone's muted. Whoever's phone that was, you're fired. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Which reminds me, what else, uh, where else can we find StatX? Huh? On st- social media wise. Oh, yeah. We can find StatX on Twitter. We can find it on Instagram. We can find it on Facebook. Literally just type in StatX. We should pop up. Is there going to be a space with that X? Any underscores? Anything fancy pantsy? Nope. Not at all. All, all awesome. together. Statics Media. Yep. Super simple. Let me see. If I just type in, let's go to a brand new account. Let's type in just StatX. See what I can find. It's uh, actually the first thing that pops up. Yep. Well, if Holy follow, smokes. It is. It's the first thing that pops up. Guys, we're famous. Windows. Yep. We made we're it. famous if you type in uh, five five random letters in a certain order. We are famous. We pop up first, boys. We're going yeah. on tour, baby. London, New York, San Francisco, the Japan. Middle East, Brazil, China. <laughs> Did you know there's Dale. a fire suppressant name? Call set? me Mr. Worldwide. You said is, there's a what? Fire suppression name yeah. statics. Yeah. Yeah, statics oh, aerosol. Yeah, I do remember uh, that. Statics aerosol and all that. Um, I yeah, remember actually, one. <laughs> I remember oh, one time I thought my blog got blacklisted because we we violated a copyright. Remember that, PJ? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, whatever happened with that? Yeah, it was weird. It just um, somehow like the the blog. Yeah. So <laughs> if if you go to Instagram and stuff like that, just type in statics. We should be the first thing to pop up. But if you go on Google and type in stat X one word, you're gonna get some aerosol spray can. Uh, until they recognize us more than this fire suppression kit uh which is kind of sad uh you need to uh type in statx media that is our full name statx media on google and it, we should pop up uh number one well guys you gotta think about the obvious choice the fact that if they have a statx that needs to put out fires they need one to start them that was, I was really, really expect- that I was, was really no that was re- that was really there. great but i was like in the middle of taking a drink and i like couldn't say anything without <laughs> like spitting my drink all over my mic see Good. i'm talking I, I, about spitting fire say it again. Say you're it again. taking say it drinks again. say it again say all right it again. Say it again. I, i'm not gonna get it right my train of thought is a no it's fine just, wild say, it stallion. just, say, it just say it again all right all right um so guys you need to know the most important thing about this is that if there's a stat x to put out fires <laughs> there's got to be a stat x to start them <laughs> amazing <laughs> love it good job wow top quality content only here at stat x media folks you already heard from paul you need to listen wow you need to listen to his podcast this boy comes with hot fire every episode <laughs> we're gonna every 10 episodes he's gonna spit some bars Oh man, I started something. Yep, they're gonna. He's gonna spit like three bars, because <laughs> that's probably the max he can do. Unless surprisingly, you can free freestyle, which would be awesome. Yeah, I got a screwdriver on my desk. Something that rhymes with desk. Wait, Dale, <laughs> I'm a pit bull. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. But I don't get to the uh, same question. <laughs> I mean, if I I figured, since if Pitbull can just say like three cities at some point during a song, say things that don't rhyme, say Dale, and call himself Mr. Worldwide, then I figured I could do it, right? Yeah, you can do it, man. Uh, So if you type in Statics Media on Google, number one is our Twitter, number two is our website, number three is our Instagram, number four is our Facebook, and then our Reddit user. Thank you, Zach. That makes me so happy that the SEO is working. We have a user Reddit mm-hmm. with Zach. Oh, okay. Cool. Started. And uh, uh, good job, the Zach. SEO website's working because it put us in number two, which makes Yeah, and a lot of our videos and photos are in the images. Like a lot of our, like a lot. If you go to images and type in statics media, or not. The Watchman picture, the. Um... What is this? That's terrifying. What? Wait, now you made it's me curious. Stat X and it's like a. Uh demon face and let me see him head. <laughs> let me see this okay i just put statics uh i'm just seeing the aerosol thing so oh, joel joplin made with oh yeah 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 what are you Stat-X talking about home facebook it's like um it's like a skull what are you talking about the, really... the weird picture that y'all found on the the internet i, didn't, I don't see any photo yeah, I don't see it either. I just put stat, uh, uh, spat, whoa, shoot, stat space x space media, and it's like, uh, the fourth, the fourth thing one. On there for me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Me. Yeah. On images or what? Yeah, ju- just... I just click images and that's what popped up. The first two things are the basic Statix logo. We got the Statix radio logo. Oh. Oh, the too? picture of the nice. three of y'all with ax- Zach's face axed out, <laughs> and then the demon thing, and then the aerosol it, can. It's, yeah. it, it's not a demon thing. It's a freaking band. <laughs> That's a band? Yeah. Stat-X stat is a band oh. with 663 people who like it. They're a cover band. I remember you told us about that like forever ago. They're a cover band. Huh. From- we need to get them to do our intro. Oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, dude, they're like a metal band. Even better. <laughs> High energy rock covers. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <sighs> Let me talk about Doom. Static. Might as well. <laughs> All right. That is... Apparently, that is they're, they're based in the UK, I think. Because I'm watching like, uh, a video know. of them waving a flag. There's this girl named Soph that like looks real... What? Um, there's, there's like, I'm, I'm looking at their Facebook page and there's like an auto video playing at the entrance. It's quite something. Oh, I forgot Jack Black is here in Tulsa right now. Is he really? What's he doing yeah. in Tulsa? Uh, Tenacious D is having a small <laughs> like, show. Why does he want to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Tenacious <laughs> D is having a small show today. And so some Dang. of my friends is I forget he... of them meeting Jack Black. Cool. I forgot he still did that. Yeah, no, yeah, dude. That's Tenacious like a legit band as well as the movie that he made with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, Tenacious D has a uh, has a freaking Grammy, dude, or multiple, maybe. Seriously? Yeah, they had a uh, oh. best rock song of like 2014, one of those years in there, 2014, 2013, um, and I think they won something else the last couple of years. I don't know. I don't follow it nearly as much as I used to. Hmm. Dang. And to think he's Poe. Yeah, I know, right? Kung Fu Panda is an underrated movie. I'll need to all go watch it, all our listeners. It's it's oh yeah, the first one specifically. He blinded me with his awesomeness. (laughs) My mic just fell down because my mic was just blinded by my awesomeness and my awful voice. (laughs) Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we've kind of been tinkering around. I came back from taking a leak uh, for about four four weeks. Um, Yeah, so... Those we started changes. we started the x button mm-hmm. uh we have what are we oh man we're reviewing a lot of things within the next like two months yes yeah. what's uh, the i might be wrong but i think the next review that should be coming up is going to be my call of duty yeah uh, review if i'm not is mistaken. it out yet no it's coming friday no. yeah it's same, friday. Day as, okay. same day as the outer wilds an outer, outer world, world. Outer world. Outer world. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Outer Wilds is a different game. Which came out this week, actually, on PS4. <laughs> the oh, Outer sure. Wilds. And then Outer Worlds is this Friday. So this which, Friday. Well, next which of y'all is planning on reviewing the Outer Worlds? If I'm not. So I wanted to, but I'm headed to LA. So I won't be oh, able to. Oh, right. Play. You yeah, were so, going to LA. That's what it was. Yeah. So yeah. sadly, I, sadly yeah. we will probably. <laughs> We will probably start with Call of Duty, and then mm-hmm. we're probably going to have to pass on the Outer Worlds for now. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can go back and do a retrospective review like mm-hmm. uh, whenever all this stuff kind of blows over. But unless Zach really wants to buy the Outer Worlds and review it for us, which would be great. Um, but no nope. pressure, Zach. Right Don't now. let that pressure you. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's broke Amen right now. That. <laughs> the... Uh, so on Thursday, next Thursday, that is October 31st, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 comes out. I'm doing oh. that review. Mm-hmm. That's right. I can't stand for this blatant younger sibling pandering. <laughs> the what? Blatant younger sibling pandering. pandering. Oh. With, with Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> yeah. Yep. This player two nonsense. I don't, I can't stand with it. Uh, oh, yeah. I like it because uh, my fiance absolutely loves Luigi's Mansion, and when I told her that you could play couch co-op, she got ecstatic. Awesome, my which is actually never a great thing with name. Luigi in it. So yeah, fair. We'll see how that goes. And the year of Luigi, so that was always something. Yeah, but, no, uh, she doesn't play video games. <laughs> yeah, total and side note. Minecraft. And then after Luigi's is the much anticipated Death Stranding. <sighs> yeah, we're still finding yes. that one, aren't we? Or yeah. are you doing that? Um, when is Death Stranding? Settle November, and Smash. November 8th. 
September 8th. Okay, maybe that was you because I was doing Luigi's mm -hmm. Mansion. What else was next month? Uh, next month I think was... that was one that we were planning on doing together. That's strange. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Because yeah, then... I don't want to talk too early about that one. Let's. Yeah. Um, I know we're doing. Yeah. So, any, anyways. And Pokemon. The... Po yeah, that's what it was. I'm doing Pokemon. That is the 15th. Mm -hmm. That's right. I forgot. Yep. Yeah. So I was saying Death Stranding might have to be you because I'm going to be focusing on Pokemon, which if it's anything like any other Pokemon game, I will easily see wow. 70, oh, 80. and Jedi Fallen Order. Yep, that's my most anticipated one right now. What did you say, Zach? You were saying, oh. Pokemon. Oh, oh that was me. Like every other Pokemon game. <laughs> no, sorry, Zach, what did you say? It's not going to be like every other Pokemon game. Oh, that's true. I have a big that's glaring good. missing difference. This one's in Scotland. Yeah, that's the difference. It's not <laughs> so in America. So Brexit. Yeah. Wait. Uh, that's Zach's, not a <laughs> Zach, Zach's, uh, Zach's upset that not every Pokemon is in the game. I am a passive player. I couldn't care less. Hey, uh, I'm just glad we have a 3D Pokemon game with T-posing. So. Yeah, T-posing Wingles. <laughs> yeah. That makes it exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I can hear you. Well, that's weird. Yeah. And uh, oh, oh, there real? we go. Okay, my mic oh, cut out. That was everybody weird. good. Yeah, yep. we're, we're all okay. good. And then Jedi um, Fallen Order ends the year, basically. But basically, Pokemon and Jedi Fallen Order end the year. As far what? as I'm aware, unless something's uh missed slipping my mind, uh, Doom got delayed. That was supposed to be the last game, uh, yeah. So that's March 20th now. Animal Crossing Day, <laughs> yep. Animal Crossing, the duality and of man, yes. yep. <laughs> Animal Crossing and Doom, honestly. And I'm gonna be honest with you. The majority of adults are gonna buy Animal Crossing. The majority of kids are gonna buy Doom. Yep. <laughs> because kids yeah. like to be edgy, while adults like to do shorts. No, it's because kids can't stand Animal Crossing anymore. Because Animal Crossing is so like slow paced. Kids but people love like... Stardew Valley. So. Yeah. But those but... are all adults. Yeah. And well, that's what I'm getting at is that Animal Crossing is so paced. If it's anything like the last game, you can only play so much per day. Unless you go into the system settings and change every day, which gets really freaking annoying really fast. Wait, they made uh, you Stardew, do that? Yes, Stardew Valley and uh, Stardew Valley and uh, Minecraft can be played old, like unlimitedly. You don't need to wait in real time to continue to do things like you do in Animal Crossing. So that makes sense for Stardew Valley for kids to do that. Kids need consistent feedback all the time, all the time, all the time to keep them plugged in. When you come to when you come to adults, they don't necessarily need that all the time. It just happens with attention normally. Um, adults that have lower attention spans aren't always that way. We know some people like that, including myself sometimes. But ultimately, yes, I think Animal Crossing is for more mature people. <laughs> and I think it it wasn't as when we were kids because there wasn't a game that we could just hop on like Fortnite and continuously play like that over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again like you had games you, like Mario that you start from start to finish by yourself you don't really play with a lot of other people you know uh that's why wow was such a big game back in the day well I'm going on a rant anyways yeah. it's like uh, gaming yeah, has dang kids being social <laughs> Go yeah. be alone like all of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, this, like, there's no problem to it. I'm not complaining. I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not complaining that, about it. I'm just, it it's more gaming is augmenting ADD because of mm -hmm. constantly giving something to this. Well, of... not, not just gaming. A side rant that will be one sentence long. I think it's social media too. Mm. Um, Bomo. But anyways. Yep. Wow. All right. And... <laughs> A media company so anti-media. Actually, to the back, I love you, uh, Bill Gates. I love uh, who's the who's, who's the Facebook guy again? Zuckerberg. Media. Zuckerberg. I Mark love Zuckerberg. You. Mark Zuckerberg, the king of all lizard men. <laughs> the I big love you. suck. The big suck. I love you. Please don't get rid of our content like you did last time. Uh, we uh, we love you. We love you know. We love all children. You know, if you're if you're a child and you're listening. Uh, I'm not going to do what I was going to do because that was going to... Um, we we love you second. guys. Thank is, you for listening. Is Mark Zuckerberg the uh, the guy at fault for us losing an episode? <laughs> huh? Is Mark did Zuckerberg... Did we lose an episode? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Early on. Mark Zuckerberg isn't the problem. Mark Zuckerberg is the one who shut down your blog. <laughs> oh. It's still open. He just made me change the name. Yep. The, the bastard. <laughs> Mark Zuck. He zucked our blog off the internet 
Jeez. Hey, but you know, uh, at least he's oh. sucking Lizard a Lizard men stand Blizzard. up, unite. Say what? <laughs> at least it's not sucking as bad as Blizzard right now. Ooh, yeah. nice segue. <laughs> All right, so I have one sentence to say about Blizzard, or like one quick comment to say about why Blizzard actually isn't in the complete wrong. Whoa. Right. Okay. Gutsy move. I'm listening. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm listening. I want to listen. Because every, everyone just sees them as like, oh, someone says something about Hong Kong and they're like shutting him down because they want to pander to China. That wasn't the case. The case is that that was a national live stream hosted for Hearthstone and someone talked politically and sh- like when they were on um, when they were on screen. It, this live cast is supposed to be about Hearthstone about blizzard's game and apparently in writing to sign up to play and be live streamed it says that you take out your personal opinions and your comments to suffer solely on the game and the competition um and so for he signed the waiver and then he said liberate hong kong i don't disagree with him don't get me wrong right. i think what ha- was happening in china is awful and i think hong kong having them be a free uh, a free city how they have been it should continue but he did sign something and he decided to knowing that it was wrong outburst that on a live stream that wasn't even for that if it was his own personal live stream i'd have no problem with it it's like for instance we were in the middle of recording a podcast live and one of you guys said like vote donald trump 2020 or something like that that's not okay we're not talking about that you know that's that's my own personal opinion on it mm-hmm. but granted legally they are in the right to do that because the guy did sign the waiver to not talk about anything but what's happening on hearthstone um so anyways it is I... something as small as liberate hong kong deserving for them to take away all of his money no i think that's stupid uh, it went overboard with i like, agree punishment. i agree they went, I, they went way overboard to protect their asses for, from China. I absolutely agree. Do I think that they're necessarily in the wrong to punish him? No. Do I think they're a private, cur- they're yes. a private company? They, yep. they have the rules and all that, but uh, they crapped the bed themselves for being so severe with that punishment. And it just brought all the wrath of the gaming community and even politicians. Over even themselves. politicians. Yep. While absolutely. BlizzCon is coming soon. So... <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, Diablo 4 is pretty much here and announced. Um, the sad part is they shot themselves in the foot right before they announced it. Oh, yeah. Um, and now they're going to say, yo, you're only announcing this now so we can because so we can stop thinking about all the things that you screwed up with Blitz Chunk. So. Yeah. But, well, honestly, if it's a good looking game, gamers are always going to like change their mindset anyways. They're going to oh, yeah. like, well, you know, let's get mad at the Hearthstone team instead of the... Uh, Diablo team because they're a different team, you know, and they're making a good game here. The Hearthstone team is the one who did this, you know, like people always justify the means. It's just the way of life. Everyone's going to say they're going to boycott Blizzard. They're not going to. Um, the only thing I can see them boycotting is the f- stupid phone game they're making. Oh, yeah, but Diablo Immortal. The wire. Yep. <laughs> you all have phones, right? You all have phones, right? <laughs> you all have phones, right? All I can do is think of that dude's face. Like, yeah. is this some sick April Fool's joke? I remember. I'll never forget that. This is some out of season April Fool's joke. That's what he said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I would just... love to make um, just a quick response to the earlier statement before we yeah, just continue. Um, mm-hmm. I because I think it, it would be some nice discourse, but also just to you know maybe show both sides of um, that we're always having unique ideas. I think that um, as far as relating to the signing of the contract and still stating his personal opinion, um, I would say that just because that's more like the, uh, the, the lawful neutral aspect of it, where yes, it is, that is their legal binding statement that they shouldn't do that. I would say that be, just because a, um, contract might be legally binding might not make it ethically sound oh, and I, I would say I that uh, yeah. he should uh, definitely 
have his uh, right to say what he wants, whether or not he signed a piece, like say, saying one thing of support for something as opposed to going up on screen and saying F whoever that he doesn't like politically or even like if he's handled it less um, classy and just being like went on a rant about China or something, mm -hmm. I would say that would be more along the lines of yes, punish him for doing something the way mm -hmm. that he did it. But for expressing it, I would say, um, I mean, he kind of said it and laughed about it though, which eh, I, that's one other thing that's, I and would it was say after the tournament was, was done yeah, and, it, and the tournament like, was done at that yeah. point. So, well, yeah, cause he won. I think what made this worse was that I think a similar tournament was happening in the U.S. And there was like some guys that lifted a, lifted a poster that also said free Hong Kong. And those guys didn't get punished immediately. So it basically, it basically gave the impression that they only did this because they're grabbed by the balls from China. They're like sucking up to China so much that they don't want to endanger the golden goose. Yeah, so, I don't I don't deny that. So I think that's why it, it became a bigger deal. Because you could see like the double standards that these yeah. other guys over US they didn't get um, they didn't get punished and Blizzard it's a, it's an American company and an American company upholds freedom of speech as their big thing. Plus they talk about freedom of speech and expression and they had that ingrained in the campus in their campus in California. So it was wow. so funny how they uh, completely went back again against what the company values seem to be. So yeah. that's why, like, they, that became an even because, like, you were saying, like, yes, a private company can have some rules about not trying to not get political and all that, but you can see cracks of what was happening in that thing. Yeah. Is it the way they treated Bliss Chunk different from this other American teams? Why do you keep saying Bliss Chunk? Bliss Chunk is the guy that got that that got a. Um, Oh, was that his name? Yeah, oh, okay. Blizz Chunk. Yeah, I never knew his name. I was like, oh, that's really he, actually kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, so I think that that is why it became an even bigger deal because the Blizzard what they didn't completely act a hundred percent equally. Okay. To to, to, to do two yeah. separate things. Um, I mean, I, again, I'm not defending them. Oh yeah, no, you're not. I'm saying people it, who are like oh, saying yeah. you should sue, whatever you can't. Like this, they have the legal right to do that. Oh yeah. And, and so the thing is that Blizz is okay totally with wrong. the punishment. That's the thing. Like, Blizz didn't care. I was like, I knew it was going to happen. I still wanted to say it. Yeah. So, I mean, he has, to, he can definitely hero. say that publicly, but then deep down be like, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, but I mean, if I was the person that was getting punished for it, I would, and probably being threatened backstage, I would absolutely be like, yes, I was aware I was going to be punished and I'm okay with it and whatever and not say anything else because he did what he wanted to do, mm -hmm. which was cause an absolute firestorm, which I wish they had some stat X for that, am I right? <laughs> <sighs> not sponsored by them. Nope. <laughs> we just have the same name as them. Um, so moving, the same thing being sponsored, really. moving away from Blizzard specifically, it's a good um, thing someone was having a riot of a time. No, not to announce so much. Oh, no, I, wasn't, I wasn't actually going to talk about riot next, but we will. Fire um, today. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was actually just going to mention I, the whole censorship of China thing right now. Mm -hmm. It's been the same scenario with Disney. Disney's been changing movies uh, specifically for China. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's been changing things specifically for China. Mm -hmm. um, and my favorite thing to come out of this was... Uh, the second episode of the brand new season of South Park. Oh yeah, um, got the show banned. <laughs> well, no, no, it was literally just about people what? sucking China and just being like, "We'll do whatever you want to get your your money," because there's a lot of you over there. Um, and then South Park just straight up said "f China" in their last episode. Mm -hmm. They said "f the Chinese government." They oh, like yeah. they had Stan. No, they had Stan's father say it five times <laughs> mm -hmm. in the last episode, and it got him banned. And then I love their uh, quote unquote apology on Twitter. Uh, did you did you see it? I didn't quite see it because I only read about the news that that South Park got banned totally from China. And there were protesters that were like airing the episode on like portable computers. Yeah, this is hilarious. Okay, hold up. Um, South Park's apology to China um, from the episode banned in China, which is really funny. <laughs> um, oh, man, this is I love it. Like the NBA, we welcome the Chinese censors into our homes and into our hearts. We too love money more than freedom and democracy. Uh, 
Sai doesn't uh Sai doesn't look just like Winnie the Pooh at all. Tune into our three hundredth episode Wednesday, whatever. Um communist oh yeah long live the great communist party of china china may this autumn ever rain harvest be bountiful we good now china question mark <laughs> now, it's a big, no just a quick question did this start the whole thing that the president of china looks like winnie the pooh no no that's okay. been a thing a long time ago. Been, okay yeah no, let's just make it sure because a while ago. that's why one of the pooh is banned in china by the way for people who don't know <laughs> is because it was a meme for a while that someone said that uh, he looked like Winnie the Pooh, which is hilarious. Um, I can't wait for the Winnie the Pooh cosplay in BlizzCon. Uh, it's gonna be <laughs> good. Oh yes, that'd be that'd be great. I want With I want the people... name tag of the leader. Yeah, I want I want them to go to BlizzCon. I want there to be a costume contest, and we hear that they didn't allow the uh, uh, Chinese military dress up people to uh, be a part of the cosplay contest. Man, oh, great. It's, gonna, uh, it's quite a riot. People are going to get in trouble. Yeah, speaking of riot, <laughs> riot this week, Riot celebrates 10 years of League of Legends. Is it is lol? <laughs> lol. Yep. It, for people who don't know League of Legends, I don't know how you don't know what this game is. You may have never played it. That's common. That will be fixed, but we'll get to that in a second. League of Legends, being one of the most popular games of all time, create literally almost single-handedly creating our modern esports mm -hmm. esports what it is now uh one of and also having some of the most paid esports athletes of all time league of legends just turned 10 and riot is finally earning its name as riot games because they announced multiple games this week um if somehow they kept under wraps for, for like, like forever four years now <laughs> they were like because so when they had the riot at or the riot at like rioters Q and A thing they did a couple years ago, uh, someone asked him, "When are you going to become Riot Games instead of Riot Game?" And as a joke, and they were like, "Yeah, about that. We are developing more things. We just are so focused on League right now. We'll get those things out when they're ready." And so then they said nothing about it for years. And so they officially showed footage of every single thing they're releasing and they're working on that we know of which is like six i think things mm -hmm. we yeah. have uh project a a new csgo mix with overwatch uh character fps competitive fps uh fixing uh say fixing lag times inputs or like uh registry of bullets and stuff and uh i think it's like uh reducing latency by like half of like through the ping like, system right yeah, Something through, about well, like, not not even like no 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 not ping system there's um so ping on a computer game you know like this lower the ping the better the faster you're gonna play they mm -hmm. pretty much fixed i don't know how they're doing it they didn't explain it completely but they're pretty much saying that they fixed the problem with slow ping i don't know how the heck they can do that but apparently they fix it so that's cool um so anyways that's cool. Project A. Uh, Project L, which is their new fighting game that's coming out. Uh, looks kind of like Street Fighter. Super excited for that. We don't know a whole lot about that. Uh, I don't know the name of the other project, but it's pretty much there in quote, like, way to explore the world of Runeterra with your friends. So it looks like Diablo. There's a little bit of footage of it playing. It looks a little bit like Diablo. Uh, this is super cool. Uh, let's see, there's a new card game, Legends of Runeterra. A lot of fun. I'm actually overwhelmed by how much fun it was i played a little bit of it it's been a blast uh, i got access to a beta key uh last week before i had to reset my computer and now i can't play it but i did play it it was fun or last week uh well, i guess technically it is monday so yeah last week um so yeah that game is a lot of fun i think it's as good as hearthstone and we'll see where that goes um let's see we have a new animated series made by them called arcane uh, what am I forgetting? Oh yeah, uh, Wild Rift bringing uh, bringing League of Legends to mobile and console. Uh, Team Fight Tactics is becoming its own game, which is a game mode in League of Legends where you it's kind of like chess, where you pin a couple teams against each other uh, and you just kind of watch the board fight each other. It's actually really interesting. It's a new kind of game mode that is actually I think this kind of game is only less than three years old this genre of gaming is less than three years old so it's pretty cool so they're bringing that to phones um 
so yeah i mean they're they're doing a lot and it's actually really cool and everything they've shown so far looks quite promising um which couldn't have come at a better time because of blizzard's dismay Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's like their anniversary they had the best gift ever like Mm -hmm. of like oh yeah our competition from like a couple blocks away are having a complete meltdown and it's our anniversary we have all these games because Let's twist they, the knife <laughs> because they didn't just plan to make these games he planned on making these games a long time ago oh yeah to rival blizzard mm-hmm. and it just happened that their 10 year anniversary landed on the week that blizzard got really screwed over and then they get announced all their rivals to blizzard and on top of that their league of legends scrimmage that happened the other day on live stream someone said something about Hong Kong and all they did was praise them for saying it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, not literally. And same thing with Epic. They were like, we're not going to stifle freedom of expression. You can express yourself, blah, blah, blah. And man, <laughs> it's... Free press, baby. Free yeah. press. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, good, for, good for Riot. I think it's an amazing game company. I'm really excited to see uh, Project A and Project L, specifically the fighting game and the, shoot, uh, the FPS. Uh, I want to see how well those become. Oh, specifically Project A, the shooting uh, FPS. Uh, they did say just like League of Legends, they plan on being with this one for the long haul. Oh, yeah. So that's exciting. They might as well. I mean, they 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 stuck with one game for almost twelve years. So might ten as years. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So they might as well. They're on season but, uh, nine right now, and they didn't create ranked until the second year. So yeah. Yeah. So ten years <laughs> they've been playing. Once I Leo. get a, once I get a really beefy PC, I'll jump in. Oh, most dude. of this, most of these games are going to be free, right? Oh, they're yeah, yeah, they're all, uh, yeah, uh, f- free to play. Which, by the way, uh, speaking of uh, playing League of Legends, this is the last thing I'm going to mention. Um, minus me getting back into it recently, League of Legends is actually one of the best optimized game on the PC that literally a potato can play. Hmm. True story. Can it run on a Mac? Yep. Okay. Yes, it can. Let me... Let me... We can download it later. But yeah. League of Legends, um, I mean, if you set you set settings right, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, there's, there's proof. Uh, there's a video of how to make a gaming PC specifically for League in under $80. <laughs> it's, uh, playing Damn. it, playing it on middle to uh, middle to middle high uh, settings because League is one of the best optimized PC games. So it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. So League League's pretty cool. Uh, the only thing that you really need to play League is honestly a mouse and a keyboard because no one wants to play the trackpad. Screw that. And a good internet, good internet connection, which is the hardest part for a lot of people. But yeah. Anyways, that's all I have to say mm-hmm. for today. Pretty much. Uh, do you guys have any like big thing you want to comment on uh, before? Yeah. We that's the Star Wars trailer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it just literally dropped before we started recording. <laughs> yeah, For real. Sure I, everybody was getting excited and they were getting ready to start the recording. I was like, guys, I need two minutes and 31 seconds to watch this Star Wars trailer <laughs> real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Zach, do you watch it? Yeah. Um, so I really hope that nobody does what I do doesn't become the new always of this generation. Mm-hmm. What? You know, you know, from when Harry Potter was really popular and Snape said, after all this time, uh, oh, yeah, that uh, was everywhere. What did he say? What did he say? After all this time, what? Always. Always. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? I'm really hoping that Kyle Ren's Nobody Does But I Do doesn't become the new always. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Well, <laughs> like the well, thing that defines we'll like, going forward and all that. Uh, <laughs> I can confirm that everybody that loved and fetishized Snape to death is doing exactly the same to Kylo Kylo. Ren (laughs) uh, because he is literally just Snape but younger and uh, exactly the same amount of edgy. He is barrel chested as Frick. We have seen him canonically shirtless. So uh, (laughs) Big boy Ren. With the biggest trunk ever. (laughs) Yeah, dude. That guy looked like an N64 character. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) all All those memes were hot when they when last year i came out um so yeah i can absolutely like see Ryan. that happen mm. i mean he's already quoted with all the edgy tumblr posts of the uh let the past die kill it if you have to and all the breakup posts so oh, um 
<laughs> it's yeah. only gonna just keep going until the trilogy is over. Hey, it's it's a good thing that Last Jedi was about letting the past die, and then Episode Nine is all about bringing back the past. Don't you love yep. that? <laughs> yeah. So because um, there's there's a unified vision, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm I'm only glad that we had a long Star Wars conversation before we started because I really didn't want to pull in another 30 minutes on this just to talk about Star Wars. <laughs> I actually agree with you on this one. Um. <laughs> but yeah, ultimately, the, I guess the biggest thing is that they said that this is Disney's most sold movie so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And For the tickets ticket on one... On website. Adam Tick, on Adam Ticket were like, which from what I was reading, Adam I'm Ticket was ticket. the was the first one to sold out the Avengers Endgame tickets back in the back in April. So I think they own Fandango or something. Mm -hmm. like that. They do. Yeah, wow. they, ha they have like uh, they have like conglomerates and all that. And uh, okay, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. I don't quote me on that, but that's, that makes more. I wonder. think I've seen that name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the fact that this already sold out quicker it really tells me all those Last Jedi boycotts sure worked, right? Not hmm. <laughs> because we're all we yeah. we're all weak willed. <laughs> I bought mine. <laughs> you fool! I, I'm waiting for it. I, I never said I was gonna boycott anything. Oh, yeah, I'm going day one. I mean, this just um, reminds me of my favorite boycott, which was the Modern Warfare 2 PC version that everyone in Steam was like, <laughs> yeah. boycott. And then the, on release day, all the people that were in the boycott group were seen playing the game. So, mm -hmm. That was a boycott thing? Yeah, yeah. there was. because What, for the no Russian mission or what? No, because PC, the PC version was ditching dedicated servers. Yep. So they were like, that's, oh. a, that's complete BS for us PC gamers. We're like taking a stand. We're not buying your stupid game. And literally and everyone that lives bought it anyways. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, mm. Yeah, that's so it was this like confirm that the specific people that said they were gonna boycott it bought it. Yeah, exactly. Got so, it. So wow. that's why, okay. like, after almost two years of constant bludgeoning about how the Last Jedi completely ruined Star Wars forever and all that, mm -hmm. and completely killed the series and all that, and seeing this, I'm like, yeah, I just keep being loud. Like, yeah. I know it has problems. I've talked about this in the show many times with PJ, so no need to. Uh, re yeah, no need to repeat to yeah. repeat that. <laughs> but repeat it, it, it's just funny that it was like exactly what I thought was gonna happen happened. People just like to fling their dicks out and think they're all like they're they're all edgy and strong, and then be like, no, they're gonna be there day one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and tra I thought trailer was great. Uh, the new composition that John Williams did of the classic Star Wars got me. Like, cool. yeah, it was like it. I think we can all agree that the best thing about Star Wars is the soundtrack all the time. So Yeah, I can agree. I can agree on that. Yeah. All right, guys. We are we are running really late here. We're gonna have to wrap it up here. Um, all right. We got gifted unlimited minutes. I saw that. Yes. Yeah, so. But I also don't want to do an un an unlimited minute podcast. I know. Yeah. At least the podcast didn't... never ends, boys. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um. You're gonna have to the new more. behind the X. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, what were you saying, Alejandro? Uh, only one more, and then we move, it, and then the new phase begins. Yeah. For podcasts. Gonna, I, uh, next week is yeah. So yeah. I guess yeah. yep, that's right. Um, yeah. Anyway, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Mm -hmm. New shit coming out. Super excited. Um, yeah, super excited for everything that's moving forward. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you so much for taking care of the last couple of weeks. Thank Gracias. you for uh, stepping up for this new podcast titled The X Button. Yes. Um, video game video game related podcast with some personal quibits here and there of other things. Um, and yeah, we can catch that on what platforms? Like every platform? Well, you time. know it. <laughs> yeah, so every platform. Uh, so keep, keep an ear out and an eye out for that. Uh, anyways, do you guys have any comments before I wrap this up? Um, Not in the slightest. I'm tired and I have jury duty again tomorrow. <laughs> you God, still yeah, have jury yeah. duty? Yeah, dude. Boy, I got four more days not <laughs> counting this one. Yep. So, uh, real quick, uh, just a quick comment to Zach. Uh, Zach. Yeah? The Bat Watusi in Titans. The Adam West thing. Oh it, it's no, like this the moment <laughs> of... DC TV. You know, DC TV ever. <laughs> so, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm glad that they had an Adam West thing. That sounds cool. Oh, yes. And they also had a, gir a girl flying on a flying dog. Good boy, Crypto. <gasps> crypto. 
Yes. The super dog. Yeah, Crypto, yes. super dog. Yeah, like crypto the super dog. dog is the most underrated Cartoon Network animated DC thing ever. It was, Fight me. And it was good and, when I was a kid, but I went. No lie, I went back and watched an episode a couple weeks ago. It's not that great, dude. Uh, nah, <laughs> it's it's probably not. I just really <laughs> wanted to bounce on that. <laughs> I'll say that the live action version they got going of not just crypto but Superboy is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Right, Zach? Like rip the live action. Yeah, the live action Superboy and Crypto going right now yeah. on Titans. It's like live action Superboy looks like he just came out of the comic books. It's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Crypto's always the best dog. He's the best boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually well uh, Bat Dog is the best. Uh canon only in crypto, the super dog. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's pretty Isn't much that it. All twelve best boys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're all best boys. All right, dogs. I guess that wraps it up for Zach. What were you saying? Know. Zach said was had something he wanted to say before we talked about that. What were you saying, Zach? Oh, um, as we were doing this podcast, I realized technically the uh, PlayStation doesn't have an X button. Yeah, it, it has, has a cross, cross button. Yeah, but if you call it that, you're a psychopath. Oh, I yeah. agree. You listen here, you little. <laughs> <laughs> You listen here. You Just let pop. me have this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, at the same time, like, uh, whoever said that is an idiot. I'm just kidding. You're, you're a psychopath. You're yeah. a sociopath. <laughs> Who calls an X a cross? A is cross like is a religious symbol that goes up and down with a little tiny cross at the top. It is what you. It's what they used to crucify people on back in the day. It's not. <laughs> It's not but X. It's not Good X. night, everybody. <laughs> to, interject, <laughs> to interject real quick, when statics <laughs> became a thing, the X was supposed to cross over with all different sorts of Okay, guys, good night. We <laughs> love you guys. Thank you for this this has been another podcast. episode of the Animaniacs. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, static. Oh, my gosh, there's four of us now. Uh, this has been uh, Statics Media episode 15 titled Statics Banned in China. We'll catch you guys next week. Statics Radio. Statics Radio. <laughs> Sadex we'll Radio, Bye, guys. episode 15. This we'll is why we're getting China. canceled. Yeah, that's why we're getting canceled next week. Come back oh next God. week for something special, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh the, Ch the Chinese forces are knocking my door. I'm out. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs>